Okay, so today I wanted to talk about the line profile dimension and also how to create a section cut curve using clip planes in PCDMS. So this is a new feature introduced in 2014.1 and I have a drawing in front of me that I wanted to use to demonstrate this. So you can see in the drawing we have two section views, section EE and section FF and they are located specifically on the y-axis at 16.9 millimeters and 118.5 millimeters from plane C. So let's go to PCDMS and I'll show you how we create those uh, section cut curves using clip planes. Okay, so here we are in PCDMS. I've imported the IGES file for that part. So let's go ahead and open clip planes. We can use our little icon down here. CAD lighting and there's clip planes there. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is enable it. So clip planes aren't new, but the new part is the section cut curves. So what we'll first do, set our vector to a Y positive, apply, and you can see it there on the CAD model, it's on the edge of the part. So going back to our drawing, we know that we need to set two cut curves, one at 16.9 millimeters and the other at 118.5. So we'll just simply enter those values inside of the clip plane box. So to the 16.9 and when we click apply, you'll see that we have a section view as a clip plane there. So the new feature in PCDMS is now we can create a section cut curve by pressing this button. So that's the first one. We'll go ahead and do the second one. 118.5 in the Y. So there it is there. Press the button again. And there we go. So there's our two section cut curves. So we don't need the clip plane to be visible. So I'm just going to disable it we still have our cut curves there. So that conforms to the drawing. So now we need to probe it. So first we'll program a bunch of vector points along those lines. Uh, we need to be in curve mode up here. So with the keyboard I'll press shift and control and that will recognize that curve. See how it does that? See it turns yellow. And as soon as I click with the mouse now it will create a point and it will snap it onto my my curve. So that's a really quick way to probe a bunch of points along there. Whoops. Let's rotate that even along the side here. So it just snaps and the line turns yellow. Let me zoom in and I'll show you. So anywhere along that line it'll just snap and be perfectly placed as per the drawing. Okay, so with those points, what I want to do is construct a feature set. So I'll just grab all those points, points 9 to 18, and I can name it section, I think this is EE. Okay, so now that's one set that includes all those points. So let's go back to our drawing and have a look at the callout. So the callout is for a line profile within two millimeters for section EE. So let's go ahead and dimension that. So there it is there, line profile, section EE, and then we'll just enter our tolerance of two millimeters. So it looks good. So there's a preview. We'll just hit create and close. So that will satisfy the requirements of that line profile dimension. So it's just a quick little tip. Uh, new to PCDMS, introduced in 2014.1. And I just wanted to quickly show you that. Uh, there's other ways to do it, but this is just a new feature that not too many people are aware of. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.